podcast. All right. Welcome back to the stream. Welcome back to another video. Today, today we're going to get into a variety of topics, but this first topic, we are going to get into that Tesla has an inventory problem. They've got plenty of vehicles for sale for Model 3, kind of Model Y for a little bit. We'll talk about that in just a little bit as well. Model X, of course, and also the Model S. And there could be a very easy fix, and it's not pricing related it's not interest related it's actually an easy one with something to do with the loyalty or ownership experience so we'll talk about it but if you're just joining in my name is dennis i love talking about tesla hacking so let's roll that intro real quick All right, so thanks for watching another stream. Thanks for watching another video. My name is Dennis, and I love talking about Tesla hacking, as I like to call it, but basically just getting the best AI in Tesla at the best financing rate. So definitely hit that subscribe if you're interested. And today's video is actually sponsored by my Patreon link down below in the description where you can get the ultimate Tesla buying guide with all the low credit unions and banks that you can finance your Tesla that all have interest rates lower than Tesla's financing for financing your Tesla. So definitely check it out. Patreon link down below in the description. And shout out to our latest Patreon. Patreon members. We've got Bobby. Thank you for supporting. If you want to check it out, Patreon link down below in the description. All right. So let us take a look at this. So of course, if you don't know, Tesla's got uh, four vehicles, right? They got the Model 3, the Model S, the Model Y, and the Model X. And if you didn't know, there is an inventory chart posted hosted by mattjung.net. And if we run through all the different inventory, there is just a lot of inventory at very high levels across the board. Model 3 inventory, you can see on the right side right here, very high amounts of inventory. If we switch to Model S, definitely on the high end, as well. We're seeing 368 vehicles. Model X is by far the highest in inventory count. That's where all the demo showroom discounts are there. There's 1,000 vehicles posted on the websites. And also, of course, the Model S, there's also relatively high inventory as well. So you can take a look at it for yourself. Go search Matt Jung inventory chart.net. But if you want to see all the different vehicles that are actually out there, you can go to Waiting for Tesla. That's where you can see all the different vehicles that are posted on Tesla websites. And you can see that there's like, for instance, right now, Model X, over 1,000 vehicles posted on the website. And so kind of in essentially, at least relatively to the past couple, maybe couple of years or even the past year, Tesla has had a lot of inventory that's just sitting on their lots, sitting on their store lots. And so this could be seen as an inventory problem because they're not maybe turning these vehicles as quick as they want to. I mean, they're still, analysts are still thinking that they are going to sell about over 400,000 vehicles in quarter two, but maybe, and maybe there's a problem here and maybe there's a way to fix it. And essentially that fix won't necessarily be about pricing or interest rates or financing affordability or anything like that. Maybe there's another thing that could potentially be a fix for it. And so we'll talk about it because because in Tesla, if you don't know, and let me know what your thoughts on this. Do you think, do you agree with this? And uh, what, you know, I want to hear your feedback as well. But within Tesla, there is an owner loyalty department. There's a owner, owner loadership or ownership history department in which in the past, they've given out certain benefits to people that have current Teslas now and that can trade in their vehicle and get into a new one. So right now, currently there's a promotion for Model S and Model X. If your Tesla has unlimited free supercharging, then you can trade in, get a new Tesla and you'll get six years of unlimited supercharging. This is on top of their current deal of three years of free supercharging. So you basically get double the amount of time, which you can really impact and use a lot of miles there to use within a six years of free supercharging. I don't even know what the total cost would be on, but if you cost would be on that, but if you're someone, if you're a power user and you're driving a lot, then you can really get a lot of effect from free supercharging. So that could be one way to do it. But really, there could be another way. And shout out to Zach or Black Model 3 on Twitter. He posted this question. The quote was, if Tesla wants all these legacy Model S and X or older Model 3 and Model Y owners to upgrade to new cars, they need to allow them to transfer full self-driving for a small fee. I know so many people who want to upgrade but refuse to because they don't want to pay $15 thousand dollars for full self-driving again 
You got to think here, not everybody that has bought a Tesla in the past has paid that full $15,000. Most of them, like when I bought my 2019 Model 3 back in 2019 or 2018, whenever it was, the price of the full self-driving was $6,000. Then it quickly raised to seven and then $8,000. So I can certainly see how people that have already paid the full self-driving and not necessarily getting any sort of the effects of it, then they could potentially feel salty and not wanting to upgrade their vehicle because they now have to pay a full $15,000. So I certainly feel like Zach has a point here. Like maybe if anything, Tesla should offer some sort of prorated fee. Maybe they pay the adjusted price. You know, I think the fairest way would be is like $15,000. If you paid six or seven or $8,000 in the past, you would just pay the difference in the price after that. And so shout out to Bilal. He posted right after that. I'm one of them. Quote, my 2018 Model S feels ancient, but I don't want to give up or pay for the $15,000 full self-driving again. And so I think there's a good point here. I really feel like the Tesla ownership department or the ownership loyalty department should really take a look at this because there is a lot of older Model S and Model X owners out there. And essentially, yes, they would probably love to upgrade to the newest refresh model and they probably have the wallets too. And so because they purchased one in the past or maybe there's a lot of people out there that purchase used top mess to use model S and model X and want to step up and upgrade as well. But there's also another thing with this. I mean, the model three that is currently out right now that has been out for a bit has been out since what? 2018, 2019. And so there's probably a good chunk of people, a good chunk of owners that have bought a 2018, 2019 model three and are kind of taking a look at the new one and saying, hey, like that actually kind of looks nice. Maybe I'll be looking or be willing to upgrade, but I don't want to pay for that full, full, uh, full price of that full self-driving, this $15,000 of pricing. But now, of course, there are other ways around this. You could trade in your vehicle and pay the $200 a month subscription instead. So you're not feeling that full brunt of that full huge price tag. But at the end of the day, people have purchased a feature they want to get their full value for. And so I can certainly understand where they're coming in from. And so I certainly would recommend to the Tesla ownership loyalty department, like that's something they should be taking a look at. They probably are at this point, or at least the idea has probably been, probably been thrown out and they just need Elon to just sign off and do the check mark, you know, just like how we're doing advertising uh, or we're about to do advertising. But let me know what your thoughts on this. Let me know what you're thinking. We're going to jump into the next topic. But before we do that, this video is actually sponsored by my Patreon link. Download the description is the Patreon link. We support the channel. And there's a variety of benefits, but some of them include actually scheduling a call with me. We can ask me any questions about buying a Tesla, selling a Tesla, or even finding a Tesla. And after you join the Patreon, you get a link to my buying guide, which is the ultimate buying guide out there that has links to all the credit unions and banks that we use to get the low monthly payments for lower financing for financing your Tesla. So definitely check it out. Patreon link down below in the description. And as an added benefit, I do respond to all Patreon DMs or direct messages at a certain level. So definitely check it out. Patreon link down below.